it's Bobby from Dig Coding here again, and this is the eighth video in the building and launching a real Django website series. Now the link to the last video is there. Please subscribe, please like, it's always very, very helpful. Now if you've been following along, you'll know that so far we have been um, building a new project with the hope to have something beautiful online very, very soon for the world to see, and we're building it from scratch. Now in the last video, what we did is we started working with error handlers such as 404 and 500. Django has these built in, but we want a HTML document that is rendered to look in keeping with the rest of the website. That's what we did in the last video. In this video, we want to have a maintenance page and a coming soon page implemented into our project. Now there is a library for this called Django Maintenance Mode, and we'll pip install that in a few moments. But the idea of this package is that it allows us from a global level to trigger maintenance mode for using a URL. So I can visit a URL as a super user and actually shut down my website and put it in maintenance mode from anywhere in the world and I can turn it on and off with a toggle whenever I choose to. So it's a fantastic library and very, very helpful in a project such as this, especially when we're launching a very, very basic website and we're gonna expand on it over time. What we'll also, we'll, we'll add some more code to the library or to our project so that when we're toggling in maintenance mode, we can actually have a coming soon page rather than a maintenance mode at these early stages. And then when we go in full production, we can remove a setting and it'll only be maintenance mode. Coming soon will be a distant memory. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, let's open up. So these are, this link to this will be in the description. So this is the, the library that we're gonna be tapping into. We open up did demo, open up a command prompt. Where's our typical always in the other screen? There we go. So let's go work on did demo. That's the virtual environment. Again, it's in brackets, it means it's working. And we will go Python, no we won't, we will go pip install Django maintenance mode. Is that right? Just make sure I'm naming it right. Maintenance mode. Do you know what? I'll just copy that. How's that? Make sure we haven't got a typo. Right, and as soon as that is installed, pip installed, we will then add it to our requirements. So pip freeze, and we'll point that to requirements.txt. If we look in our directory, where is it? There we go. And also, uh, I'll just put requirement, I think. Yeah, I did. So let's just change that to requirements. And then we'll delete the requirement file that we just produced. We don't want that. Uh, open up Sublime Text, which is my text editor that I always use. You'll know that by now. And you will see that we've got maintenance mode here. Happy days. Right, we go back into the docs for maintenance mode. It'll tell you how to install it. So pip install, and then you want to add maintenance mode to your settings. And we've also got some middleware that we need to add. So we'll do that. So maintenance mode, we'll have to go into hither, settings, stick it at the bottom here. Oh, we don't want that. And save. And we want middleware. So where does the middleware go? And it says, add middleware to the settings as the last piece of middleware. So again, let's add it to the settings, but we'll add a comment as well, because um, again, if you come back to this project in six months, you wanna know what the middleware is and what it's doing. So, um, maintenance mode middleware must be at the end because other uh, libraries will say you must be at the end and if that conflicts with other middleware you just need to work way around that. Uh, so there we have it, save that, go back into the docs, what else is it telling us to do? Add maintenance mode context processes to maintenance mode settings context processes. So let's copy that and go back into settings and go to our context processes. There we are. And if we comma and then say maintenance mode context save. I think that's it. We do need to then, so you need to restart your application, add a custom template 503. So let's go ahead and do that. 
We've already got a 500. We will save this as 503. I don't need to go into detail about the HTML. I've gone through that in previous videos. Actually, there's a link to the HTML video here. Have a look at it. I'm going on about bricks and mortar and how they work together and everything else. It's a decent video. So this one, let's have this as our website is being updated. Please come back soon. Save. But what we'll also do is we will save a coming soon HTML as well. So let's save this and we'll call this coming soon underscore soon. We'll have that as um, we or our site will be finished soon. Please come back soon. That'll do, that'll do. So we've got a coming soon, we've got a 503. In the docs, it doesn't say they're having coming soon, but the reason being is I'm gonna use this library to manage coming soon with maintenance, and I'll show you how. So let's go back into settings, so we don't need uh, anything else there for now. If we go back into settings, what we'll have near debug mode, we'll have coming soon. Coming. Do you know what, I've just realized I've done something wrong. Well, it's not wrong, but what we'll do, coming soon, we'll go back, we'll delete the coming soon one, we don't want that. We want delete. In 503, I want, yeah, so in 503, I can now access, in this template, in the template tag, I can access a variable in the settings file. So if I put that, if coming soon, so if coming soon is true, we want to display one H, one, a different H1 element than whether then if coming soon is true or not there at all. So we use the if template tag, and then we'll have else, and then we'll have end if. So if coming soon is true, then we'll have one piece of text. Our website is, we'll have nearly, nearly built. Oh, please come back soon. And if, it, if coming soon is false, i.e. we're in full production and we're letting all traffic come into our website and we have maintenance mode as on, then it will display a maintenance mode uh, message which will say our website's been updated, not updated. Please come back soon. That's that. Go back into settings. What else do I need? I've got settings. We've got coming soon, true. Maintenance mode, we've got our middleware, we've got our template context processes. That's it. All we now need is to work in our URL conf file. So we'll go back into here, and now we need to add in here a URL which looks something like this. So actually, we need to bring in URL before we do anything else. So it's underneath path here. We'll have from django.conf.urls uh, import URL because we'll use a um, regex for this regular expression. So we'll have URL, URL, and in there we will have, yeah, it's called maintenance mode. So it will be our. The reason we're adding this is because I want to be able to toggle maintenance mode on and off using a URL. So as a super user, I will be able to visit a URL and say switch on, in which case users will be met with come back soon, and switch off, in which case it opens it, the whole website up. So that's maintenance mode forward slash, and then we want include. Have we imported include? Probably not. Yes, we have include, and in include, we want maintenance mode.urls.
and we're accessing that because we've installed maintenance mode as an app. Save, and we'll have this as this is to enable us to toggle on off via super user URL. Is that it? I think it might be, you know. I think we now may have maintenance mode all good to go. We might have to do some migrations. So let's try that just to double check. Python manage.py make migrations. Oh, no module named maintenance mode.url. Is that because we haven't migrated and I'm doing it ask about face? No, hold on one second. I had a typo, nothing too dramatic. No change there, eh? So let's just try this, I haven't tested it. It allows me to run a server which would suggest that the URLs in the URL patterns in the URL comp file are correct. So let's try to make migrations again. No changes detected. So no, none to apply to do TATP sessions. Okay, so. Is that it? Let's have a little look. Um, I will need to sign in. So what I need to do is go to my admin and I'll need my Google Auth to do this. So only a, only a super user can uh, do this. So that's why I need to sign in to the admin panel. That's the only way I can be flagged as a super user. Um, and so my code is 958396. So Bobby at decoding. 958396. Happy days, I'm in. So if I now, so I'll open up the browser here actually. Right, so that's two different sessions. So I'm signed in as a super user. Maintenance mode, I think you put on there we are our website is being updated please come back soon uh, sure i have to double check the code for that but anyways uh that's so it's so we've now triggered the maintenance mode so now it's on so uh, because it's on it's flagging the we haven't got the 503 handler have we did we do that um i don't know if we did no we didn't hang on one sec that might be why. So it's coming through. So let's do a 503 handler. 503. So we just copy that down. Go back into views and we'll have another 503. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Call that 503. Now, let's see if it'll work. Okay, and update. Right, I've just, uh, I finished the video and realized actually I had to come back and change a couple of settings to um, make sure that coming soon and maintenance mode pages worked properly. Okay, so uh, if you come back into the project I've added this piece of code here to the settings file. So coming soon is true, but I didn't read the docs all the way through. Slap my wrist. But if you go through, it's got a whole bunch of variables on the docs. And unless you um, put them in the settings.py file, it just uses the default. And what I found is the this one here, maintenance mode template. So it this is why it asks you to create a 503 HTML document, which I did do. But what I've done is I've put an if statement in settings file. So if coming soon, then use the coming soon HTML. And if not, the 503. 
I've created a coming soon HTML document, saved it in the same templates directory, and we're back to where we were. So, settings.py is coming true. I've triggered the maintenance mode on because I'm a super user and it's saying our website is nearly finished. Brilliant. So, if I go back in here and change this to false, it should change the, there we go. Now it's working, brilliant. So I can turn maintenance mode off at any point as a super user by going to maintenance mode off. And there we go, it's now switched off. But only a super user can do that. If ever you get into an instance where you turn it on and uh, and then close down your, sh your session. If it won't let you back in, just even fire up a new session, new server. And if it still won't let you in, change the fuel of settings in settings.py, rerun the server, and then it should be good to go. So that is maintenance mode. It's running well. This is the end of the video. So please subscribe and like. Um, look at the other videos on the playlist. By the end of this project, we're going to have an outstanding website online, and you can use this in your own project, which is exactly what I want to do. So, like I say, subscribe and like. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Oh, hang on one sec. In the next video, we'll be adding a sitemap XML file to our project. We don't need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. And it'll be a static sitemap. So, there we have it. End of the video. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>